This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Matt Sandrini. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful day? Hey, Angel, I'm really well. I am. I'm in London today. It was snowing this morning. And it started raining, but it was uh, it was just really good to see a bit of uh, the winter and kind of the white snow around. It was very really nice. Yeah. That's that's beautiful. I did speak to a couple of people in London, and uh, they said the same thing. Like it was just beautiful to see the white, uh, the the snow just there this morning. It's very peaceful, so I really enjoy when that happens, and it doesn't happen that 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 often here. So. That's great. Well, I'm glad you're having a great morning already. Please do tell me which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this specific time in history. Hmm. I I think it's um, how I, I value meeting people and getting to know people, right? And and uh, my talent is to to connect people. And then I have this thing that whenever I meet someone, I ask them to introduce me to someone else and I do the same. And I think that just um, doing that and valuing that is... Uh, what got us connected and uh yeah i'm very very happy for that very grateful for that mm. so who did you learn that from who did you learn the 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 there are many things going on there right but because they're first you're being gregarious right to be that yeah. person but you're also understanding the value so all right let's dig into that who did you learn that from the value of relationships I think originally maybe uh, I saw that in my mum. My mum always I like, put a lot of uh, um, of work into um, her relationships and friendships and and connections in in general. But but also there was a tough spot in um, in my life in my first business where I kind of went all in 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 on, on on that business and I put everything else in my life on pause. And then I realized that you can't really pause friendships or you can't really pause other human relationships. And and you realize how how much they enrich your life and and that you know if you want to achieve anything you you need other people and then if you do achieve something and you can share it with other people that feels even better right so i think i learned it through these two moments in my life now i found that the value of money and the value of relationships seem to brush up on each other right it's always tempting to go for the value of money because we have yeah. to eat right uh nevertheless why will you continue to repeat uh the emphasis on focusing on relationships all the way through uh why do i continue to do that why will you yeah yeah it well, it is because i i feel that um well, in a way, as I grow, I want to share that with other people. But also, again, I know that whatever I, I want to accomplish, I can't do it alone, uh, you know, because I need other people to show me the way and to be an example. And, uh, you know, at the same time, you were saying sometimes we tend to choose money over over people. But, you know, even if you want money, you need people to buy from you or to, you know, to, to give you um, great advice or to support you. So really, it is a people's planet. Mm, love that. You sounded like uh, something I would have read in Proverbs. You sounded like Solomon there. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was great. Now tell me about the side of you that does the business productivity coaching, please. Yes. So I run um where I, I share a lot of, of principles on how to make the most of your time. And that means I really, you know, the value of time is is zero. We all have the same amount every day, 24 hours. We can all kind of expect the same number of years, though we don't all get the same kind of the, you know, what we expect is is the same. And But we don't all live the same life. We don't all have the same quality. And, and so, you know, realizing that many years ago made me realize that really time hasn't got any value unless you create you create value with it. So it's, it's how much you squeeze out of your 24 hours in terms of what you want to achieve or what you want to experience. Or maybe, again, you want to create a great friendship. It's not necessarily about the time you put in. It's about the uh, the output, the what you you know, the value that you get out of it. And so through Times in an Air, I, I share these principles. But also I work um, with business owners, um, on one-to-one coaching on how to be effective in their business and uh, grow it faster so that it supports their lifestyle as well. And and again, I, I apply these 
these effectiveness principles where it's not about working 25 hours a day, but it's about am I working on the right things and do I know where I want to go? Hmm. I love it. Definitely love it. And always the best place for people to connect with you is timezillinia.com, the best place. Yeah, they can also find find me on Twitter and Instagram at Matt Sandrini. And there we go. Now, there's one of your business names that really got me because in Tobago specifically, there's a festival where they race goats, right? Uh, you had a business or co-founded uh, Power Goat Limited. What was that about? That's right. Yeah. So uh, first of all, I really like your sleuthing skills. That's great. And um, yeah, that was uh, so we started with a friend of mine. Um, we were we wanted to get out of sort of the corporate world at the time. And um, and we created this accessory it was like a phone accessory. And we launched it um, on Kickstarter a few years ago and it did well. And we because we focused on the product so much, we didn't really have a name for the company because the company came second. The product was first and then the company was just a, an entity to, to support that. But in a way, we kind of had to to open one legally. And so I remember it was a, it was a late evening. Uh, we were in a, in a coffee shop, I think, and we were talking about this and we just went through like, okay, this is has got to do with powering up your phone, so power. And then we just went through a lot of words in a dictionary and we went like power power boat power goat yeah let's go for that <laughs> so we just really liked it and we went for it <laughs> uh, that's wonderful yeah the goat goats are really powerful like if you see them run these races yeah, yeah i like yeah a business in trinidad and tobago called power goat registers immediately in an individual's mind yeah that makes sense i love it <laughs> maybe we should have moved our headquarters to tobago yeah you would have loved yes. the sun as well <laughs> <laughs> sure yeah well, if we touch on one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, what would that be? I think in general, it would be showing up. So, you know, doing things that, uh, for example, meditating most days. Um, I have I, I train at least three times a week and I have done for over two and a half years. Um Again, I meditate regularly. I take cold showers every day. And again, I've done that for nearly three years. And and I think that like all these things, all these small habits, like journaling is another example, are those things that uh, all it takes is you showing up every day and they support you in your growth. When you, know, you want to spot something, like a blind spot, you can find it through these small habits. Or if you want to make sure that you're resilient and you're strong enough to face another day and um, whether it's a great day or maybe a day that throws a challenge at you, um, if you can lean onto these things, uh, they really help. And at the same time, I feel that showing up also builds a lot of self-confidence because you know that you will uh, maintain the promises that you, you, you will keep the promises with yourself. And so it makes you very self-confident in that if you say something, you will do it. And so I think that showing up is really important to build that self-confidence and to build those, um, but, uh, the, the micro performance as well on a daily basis. Mm, totally agree. Love that. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Amazing audience. You're hanging out live here from Matt Sandrini. Matt, let's switch gears for a moment now. Let me invite yeah. you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. <laughs> Matt, what is your earliest childhood memory? So I... I'm not sure about this, but I think it's uh, playing in a in a sandbox on um, on the balcony in my in my parents' flat at the time, and um, yeah, I was just uh, creating things with 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 sand. I remember my my dad got me that um, because uh, yeah, he, he just wanted me to kind of have fun and 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 yeah, and maybe uh, express myself both like through movement, but also through being able to create some sort of structures with sun, sand. Mm. How old do you think you were in that memory? Probably four, I would say around four, yeah. Mm. How do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? I think, oh, by, you know, by thinking about what I just said, uh, it makes me think that, you know, I I really like to create things. I really like to create things, whether it's a, it's a blog post or it could even be like, it could even be like something that I write in my journal. You know, I am creating something and, and through, by doing that, I'm creating my my own self every day. And at the same time, it makes me think, yeah, I was doing that also through kind of movement and, and enjoyment. And and I think that that links into 
um, how I see uh, the creativity right now, which is something that you do every day and you do, you know, when in your everyday movements and, and it is something that you enjoy. And so maybe that's that's the link. I'm not sure. Can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you Please? created in I my love mind? That. I love I the will. box, my friend. I love the fact that uh, you've contained yourself or formed a way to create uh, boundaries around what mm -hmm. is something as timeless and as um, as as the word, the word, the word, uh, sand in terms of like uh, what the word isn't coming to me. Uh, uh, it's like more than it's like the word that infinite. There we go. As infinite mm -hmm. as sand. And here you are understanding that there's a possibility to take a sand and put it into a box to then be able to create so much more. And the things that surround that box in your life, metaphorically speaking, are the things like journaling and meditating mm -hmm. and uh, that uh, exercising, those things that you ensure help you to then create even more. That, I love that's that. That's the box. Yeah, that's the Beautiful. box. Beautiful. Yeah. I love that interpretation. Thank yeah. you for sharing that. Yeah, definitely. And let's just add that, you know, the legacy aspect, that this is something that your father allowed you to see, and now you're helping other people through coaching them to be able to see that as well. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like that, and it really resonates. Wonderful. If we fast forward to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? So um, I was expecting this question and I did some Googling to check, like, what was I listening? You know, what was happening then? And I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a, a Linkin Park song because their first album came out when I was 12 and I was a big fan then. And, and so it was probably In the End yeah. by Linkin Park. Definitely. Love it. Sands of time in the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love the theme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, my friend. Well, we've arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready? I'm ready. Matt, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? I think it's not a specific person. But yeah, in general, I like to share as I learn. I think that learning and teaching is the same process hmm. are you married i'm not married do you have children i don't have children do you believe in god i do my own way i would say do you have an inner circle of friends yes i do do you watch tv for more than three hours a day i don't own a tv wow what about screen time the phone and or the computer is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day well, I do most of my, you know, work and, and creations um, on my devices. So I would say it's definitely more than three and uh, it touches eight on some days. Yeah. Mm. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, Matt Sandrini, what would you say that is? I think it's own your time. Yeah, love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll add something because I just love the metaphor of the box, you know, uh, like own your sandbox of time. <laughs> uh, sounds like an hourglass as well. It's very beautiful. Yeah, yeah it is beautiful. Wonderful. Yeah. Matt, well, this was a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Um, I just want to say if there's one thing that resonated, why don't you send me a tweet at Matt Sandrini? I would love to hear from you. Lovely, Matt Sandrini. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. My pleasure. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise. <laughs>